Welcome to Needle Creations video workshop. Today we're going to work on a crochet French Bulldog. These are cute little amigurumi kits. You'll have everything that you need inside the kit. You have your instructions. Then we have fiber fill. We have yarn. Your crochet hook. A plastic needle and the plastic eyes. Now sometimes the yarn isn't always rolled into a ball. If it comes in a hank, roll it into a ball because it makes it so much easier to work with. The extra things you're also going to need are a pair of scissors, a tape measure, or a gauge check. There's a great set of instructions. The skill level is listed as intermediate. Make sure that you understand your instructions before you begin and practice the stitches being used so that you don't become overwhelmed working on your project. Your kit will come with a 3.5 millimeter hook. It may be white, it may be blue. Many of us have our favorite hook, but we recommend you use the hook that comes with this kit to maintain gauge or the tension of your fabric so you won't run out of yarn. There's five different areas to a hook the head, the throat or the neck, the shaft, the thumb rest, and then the handle. You can hold it like this or you can hold it like this. The head of the hook is smaller and pointed so it makes it easy to go in, but your stitch should always be equal with the shaft part of your hook and that also will help you with your gauge. Many crochet instructions will include a gauge check before you begin. Having the correct tension, which is how tight or loose you crochet, is important to your project coming out to the correct size and will ensure that you don't run out of yarn. You'll single crochet a swatch and you'll count the number of rows and stitches across to make sure that it matches what your instructions say. Also on your instructions, you're going to see your abbreviations. Make sure you understand each one, the colors of the yarn, the various stitches. If you have to repeat any instructions, you will see an asterisk or brackets. Then your other abbreviations. Each instruction sheet will have great graphics on what stitches are used for this project. If you need a refresher to practice any of them, please check our crochet stitches video. Okay, we're going to begin with the body and we have three different colors so identify your colors it's color a is the white which is going to be the bulk of the body and we're going to start with a ring now there's several ways to create a ring and start your project on this one we're going to make a slip knot on our hook chain three then we're going to join in that first chain slip stitch pull that through and you've got a small ring we're going to chain one and then we're going to place six single crochet in that ring and work holding your tail work over that as you go around three All right, we have six stitches, so count to make sure that you have them. I'll take the hook out of the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, you're going to join to the first single crochet and make sure that you're able to identify your stitches because this may look like a stitch. It's not. That's why it's important to keep count on your stitches so you know where you are. So you're going to slip stitch and pull that. Now pull the tail to tighten it and that way you close your opening and after a few rounds then you, you should work your tail in, weave it in so it won't open up again. We're going to chain one. Now we're going to do round two and this is where you start increasing and creating your circle. We're going to do two single crochet in each stitch. That's increasing. single crochet. That's two, four, six, eight, 
10 and 12. And again, make sure you're identifying your stitches. This could possibly be confused as a stitch. This is where you slip stitched together to join. We're coming up and it's the first stitch at the beginning and you're going to slip stitch to join. Now we're going to increase again. Now this is on the instructions where you're going to start seeing brackets. And what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and within the brackets it says single crochet, increase, which is two single crochet in the next stitch. Do that six times. That's what that means within the bracket. So it's telling you to single crochet in the next stitch, increase in the next stitch six times. So you'll be increasing six stitches. And this is how you keep your round evenly increased. And you should have 18 stitches at the end of this round. and then join. You're going to continue increasing in this manner over the next several rounds till you get to round six and you'll have 30 stitches. At that point you're going to work six through ten with an even 30. You're going to chain one, single crochet in the next three stitches, and again keep in mind that your instruction is within the bracket on how many times to decrease. Single crochet two, three, and then we're going to decrease. And a decrease single crochet is pull up a loop in the next two stitches, yarn over and through all of them. That's a decrease. We're going to do that six times. So we're going to single crochet in three, and then decrease. That's two times. four, five, and this is six. And you should have 24 stitches. Now continue in this manner, decreasing as per the instructions. When you get down to round 19, you're going to have 12 stitches, so I think that's a good point to stuff the body. And then you complete it off with round 20. And here's what your body will look like when you're finished. You can see the seam in the back. I try to keep that in the back. And you can shape this a little bit, but this is the body. Now the head is started in the same manner as you did the body. You're going to chain three, make a ring, work your increases until you get to round four. And let me show you how you can count your rows if you've not kept up with it. One, two, three, and this is round four. So you, can you see the ridges there? Those are your rounds. Once you've completed round four, round five is where we're going to change color. All right, now we're not going to join this. You're going to take your next color, which is the black. However, black is sometimes difficult to see, so we're going to use a tan so you can see the stitches easier. Now to change color, we're going to, in the joining, pull a loop through, that's a slip stitch, to join.
I like to tie a small knot and then work over the end just to kind of hold it in place. All right, so this is the beginning of round five. We're going to be working with the black and then work over the end as you're working the round. So we're going to chain one and again, following the instructions within the brackets, you're going to single crochet in the next three stitches with the black increase. Do that two times. Work your next three. One, two. I like to also keep my yarn across the back, so work over that. I'll pull it over. Don't pull it too tight. One, two, and just work over it every few stitches. Three, and then increase. And we're going to change back to this color. On your last increase, before you complete the stitch, and you pull that through. So now we have our color change, and we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. Pull this one around, keep it at the back, work over that. We're going to increase in our next stitch, single crochet in the next three, and we're not going to complete here. On that third stitch, we're going to change back again. Working in your color B, you're going to increase single crochet in the next three, increase. And the brackets tell you to do that three times, but you only do it two times. So one, two, three, this is our second time, and then increase. And then we're going to join. So keeping to the color pattern as written in the instructions, it'll tell you how many stitches to do for each round in color A or color B, and when to change color. After I have completed round 10, I like to make a little mark on where I'm going to place the eyes. If you read through the instruction sheet, the eyes are to be placed on each side between rounds eight and nine of where the nose area begins. So we have our plastic eyes. I've put little markers in here just so I can know where I'm going. The plastic eyes are like little screws, and this is like a little cup to attach, so you put, place that on there. So what I'm going to do is come in where I have that marker, and it's the first stitch past where the color change. Take the larger cup, place it over the end, and push. Sometimes they're a little difficult. Some of them snap in easier than others. There. We'll come over here to the other side and in that stitch. So now we have our eyes placed. Then you're going to take a length of white yarn, thread your needle, and you're going to come up. And this you just have to work on a little bit to get your needle to come up and around where your plastic cup was on the back. And we're going to wrap the white around the eye. I make it two rounds. And you're going to have to use your fingers to kind of hold this in place a little bit. 
and then come back through and then you do the second one the same manner. Now continue decreasing as per the instructions. I've gone to round 16. There are 17 rounds. This is where I suggest you stuff it and then you finish off your last round. Now on the snout Again, you're going to do the same as you have with the others as you start in the ring. You increase, you decrease. That creates the center and then you increase again to make the second side. We'll have a tail here that we'll weave in, but what we're going to do is make French knots with the black and we'll just cut a short length. And what I do is insert my needle through that opening where you ended Pull that through. Don't pull it all the way through. Kind of leave a, a tail in the end. And to make a French knot, we're going to wrap it around. You can either do two or three times, depending on how large you want it. Don't go right back into the same spot. Go back in to another stitch and then come out to where you want to place your second one and there's your French knot. And then we'll do another and you place five of these randomly on each side. There we have it. And here's what it looks like when it's finished. All right, now on the legs, you're going to make four legs. There's two front and two back. The front legs are longer than the back legs. So you have two different sizes, again, made in the same manner as your instructions have said before, working in the round, and you shape it then as you stuff it. But what we're going to do is place stitches on the end to make it look like a paw. We'll use our black yarn come through here and I like to place it between those three stitches where you've decreased and it makes a nice little V. So I'm going to come into the middle on round two, leave a little bit of a tail into where you can see the one, two, three where you've decreased. and just very carefully make a single knot. And as you stuff it, then that will hold in place and clip. And then we'll do the larger one. So you've got two of each. And again, you're going to see where the shaping is. One, two, three, see right here. We're going to come up And again, tie it off. And there we have our front and back feet. Now the ears are made working back and forth in rows instead of working in the round. And you're gonna need two of those. When you read the instructions, make sure you follow that. There's just a row difference on the shaping on the left ear and the right ear. So we're gonna start with the left ear. You're going to make a slip knot on your hook chain three, and then we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and the last one. So that just gives us two stitches. We're going to turn, chain one, and then we start to increase. So we're going to increase in that first stitch. and then single crochet in the last one. That gives us three stitches. 
And now on row three, we're going to chain one, increase in that first stitch, single crochet in the second, and again increase in the third. So that gives us five stitches. This is going to be the width of your ear. And we're going to have rows four through seven as just single crochet on those five stitches. Now I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Always chain one when you turn before you start your next row. That was row six, this is row seven. Row eight, we're going to decrease, so we're going to single crochet two stitches together, single crochet in the next one, and another decrease, single crochet two stitches together. That gives us three stitches. Now we're going to fasten this off, and we're going to create the edging. This is the right side that you've been working. And this is the wrong side. Insert your hook to join your color A, which is the white. Pull a loop through, leave a little bit of a tail so you can work over that. And you're going to work an edging around working single crochet in each row end and having two stitches in the corner. So we're going to start off here with a chain one and I'll place two stitches there. And then in each row end, you're going to single crochet, working over that tail. So you can see where your row ends are. And we get to the corner or the top piece, two stitches. And again, you want to work over the tail and coming down the other side, going to single crochet in each row end. Two single crochet in that corner on the last round. And then join. And leave, oh, maybe six inch tail or so for sewing. And there's our ears. And here's all our pieces. We have the body, the head, four legs, two ears, a snout, and a tail. Now we're going to stuff the legs and the head. Now, as I said, we didn't complete the last round because it's a little difficult to get your fiber fill in. So we're gonna take it out. This is very compact and I like to break it up a little bit. Pull out a hunk, just kind of pull it apart. I don't like using big chunks. And just use your thumbs and push it 
inside shaping as you go. And if you have any problems trying to work the fiber fill, and this goes with all the, the pieces, especially the smaller pieces like the legs, you can use the end of your crochet hook to help push this in, into the opening. We're going to shape that. And then finish off the last round. And this is a decrease round, so we're going to decrease down to six stitches. And then we're going to thread our needle and work in and out of those last six stitches. And just pull to tighten. Now we're going to assemble our bulldog. We're going to add the snout between rounds 9 and 12 on the head. So you're starting at the top, round 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the snout will go right here. But now what we're going to do first is actually stitch the nose on it. You're just going to use a couple of straight stitches through the center to create a nose. Position it. Take a stitch. Now I will run the black yarn all the way through. And I'll leave that tail there. Now I'm going to sew the snout down with the tail that I have. positioning it and just run a few stitches and this is where it takes patience because you have to hold this in place now if you have some plastic needle work pins that would be great come over here So now we have the nose and the snout, and we're going to add the head to the body. We'll clip off all our ends when we're finished. So following what the instructions say, you're going to use rounds 11 through 17 of the head. So that would be about like this. And hold it in place, or again, like I say, if you have plastic pins or even extra needles or your crochet hook to tack it down and start stitching.
He's getting there. All right, we have the head positioned. And now we're going to sew on the legs. The longer legs are in the front and the shorter legs are in the back. Make sure you keep them facing to where the ends will show. Back legs go on round six through eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So six through eight. And just use your photo as a guide and eyeball it yourself to position how it looks for you. Again, making sure you have that to the front. And I always leave the, the yarn tail that I have remaining. <clears throat> I don't clip it off right away just to make sure I'm happy with the position. It's easy to rip out and restitch if you don't like where you've positioned it. And there's our back legs and now our front legs. And these go on rounds 13 through 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, this is round 13 right here, 13, 14, 15. So let's pull that through. Now we have him sewn together. We have his snout, his nose. We've placed the legs, the tail on the back. It says in the instructions exactly what rounds to put them on. The ears are sewn on front, four stitches to each side. And there's your finished French Bulldog. And if you have any questions, you can contact us via email, help at askacrafter.com. I love to crochet. <laughs>